So this is the fun part. This is going to be really fun if you're a Buffalo Bills fan because we're going to take a look at some dots here. But first, let's take a look at Josh Allen's passing chart versus the Steelers, where he was able to throw the ball here. Um, and he used his weapons. And this has been your critique for the past couple of years. It's yeah. like outside of Stephon Diggs, who do they have? Well, right. they threw a touchdown to Dalton Kincaid in this one, Khalil Shakir. And then he used his own dang legs to run 52 yards for a touchdown. Uh, you know, come on. He's, he's incredible. The way he started the game and some of the plays and throws he made, the first touchdown pass, the second touchdown touchdown pass a 56 a 56 yard run and by a 245 pound white quarterback in the playoffs like what that just, that just doesn't happen yeah, next gen stats tracked yeah. it there it's never tracked happened it. before never happened. That, yeah right right and they put it in white person parentheses <laughs> like never happens like yeah. crazy not since yeah. steve young yeah. all right something like that but yeah I, I don't know what else to say about it he played the game pretty perfectly I mean, he didn't make really one dicey decision. That's kind of what he's on right now, yeah. right? Um, and, yeah, the run itself, I know there's a lot of talk on the run right now. do the run right now? Yeah, let's, let's do the run, run as well. Right, we brought it up. You might as well. Let's go inside the numbers, powered by AWS, Josh Allen. He's a little dot there, 17. Should be a little bit bigger and definitely faster than the rest of them. There he goes. Boom, boom. Oh, <laughs> wait, what happened right there? Yes. Everyone just stopped for a second right. or, or got juked out. 52-yard um, scramble. So let's give the numbers. His top speed was 19.33 miles per hour. That's pretty good, almost pretty good. 20 miles an hour. On that field, in that condition, I think, does change it a little Definitely. bit. Definitely. He had a touchdown probability on that play of 0.2%. Yeah. Well, his recognition is phenomenal. First off, this is where he knows it's man-to-man. -man. He knows they've rushed five. He knows if he breaks the line of scrimmage, there's, there's nobody there to tackle him, right? That's why he made such a quick decision. He kind of saw a gap. He knew the coverage. He knew they were in a five-man front, and he said, uh-oh, they're in trouble. I'm just going to go run and get the first down. Now, once he breaks the line of scrimmage here and he starts to get into a bunch of people, like I see people out there on right now on social media thinking, did he fake the slide? Sky Vern is one of right. those. He goes, so much praise for Josh Allen's run, but faking going down is bush. Steelers players stopped when he faked. Quarterbacks should not be able to take the rules that protect them and use them fairly. But where did – but. But what I'm going to say is, where did he fake the slide? Like, because he did a stutter step? That's a fake slide now? Don't You're interpreting what you want to interpret, is what I would tell you at Sky Vern. Um, I, he, uh, I could take you to the play last week against the, the Miami Dolphins when he runs over the D tackle. He does the same thing. He kind of gets in a spot of like, oh, no, what do I do here? And he starts to kind of hop and go, wait, do I have to make a cut or do I have to lower my shoulder? And that, to me, is what it looked like. It wasn't a fake slide. It wasn't Kenny Pickett in the bowl game a few years ago or the ACC championship game, yeah. whatever it was. It wasn't like he went and like put a foot in front and went, acted like leaned back like he was going to go down. I took it more when I was watching it. If he wasn't sure if he wanted to make a cut or just lower his shoulder and do this. Either way, let me just tell you this. It's on the fucking Steelers. You're playing Josh Allen. You got 900 plays of him being in that situation, lowering his shoulder and running for more yards. It's DeMonte Kazee who kills everybody. So you can make all the excuses you want for the Steelers. That shit sucked by them. There's no other way to say that. It is. And that's what I think happened, too. He was like, wait, let me settle down, gear down, let me go to lower my thing. And then he realized, wait, this guy's not even attacking me here. And this guy, Patrick Peterson, is being enjoyed being blocked by the receiver because he doesn't really want to tackle me, so he's going to act like he got blocked. And then he runs away from everybody. And that, to me, also exposes the Steelers. The Steelers are slow, as we've talked about in the secondary. Yeah. I mean, Patrick Peterson's slow. DeMonte Kazee are slow. And that's part of their problem overall. But I did not look at it as a fake slide. Did you? I, I had know. the same. I had the same impression as you. And I think once one person said it, another person said it, then everyone started seeing the same thing. Yeah. But I, I took it as that the field was probably rock hard and the footing probably wasn't as good as it normally is too. And so if you're going to make cuts like that, you do have to like do it more deliberately maybe. And even though he has made similar moves in the past on, on different fields and different temperatures. Yeah. I didn't take it as a slide. Now Pete will make the argument though, that there was a, uh, a roughing on miles Jack earlier in the game. Yeah. That Oh, that was later in the game. Oh, yeah, it was, was later after. in the game. But it's like, this is what you see. Right. And it was like, Jack came in a little late, didn't even hit him in the head. Um, and Allen kind of throws his arms up like 
I think that would be the frustration, and you have that yeah, frustration know, too. You know it's me. like these quarterbacks are, are, right. are babied, and so yes. it's like you're right. trying to get even more of the rules on your side. And so okay. you would be upset if he if you actually thought he fake slid there. I would be. You pissed. would be upset. You know, I would be. Yeah. You no, know, I don't like that. I don't like like skirting the bylaws or the unwritten rules of the yeah. NFL, like the Lions bringing in three ineligibles and trying to trick everybody. I don't like that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I would call out Josh Allen. If it was a fake slide, I am literally the guy with the quarterbacks. If you heard me in a viewing room on Saturday, it was like, f*** him, hit him harder. That's bullshit. That shouldn't have been a penalty. They should have knocked him out on the sidelines trying to cheat, getting extra yards. I am not that guy, everybody out there. So yeah. at, uh, at Sky Vern, just letting you know that, right? Yeah. I did not see it as a faking Bush League fake slide. I really didn't. And yeah. in that type of game, right, it's Josh Allen in space. You got to come down expecting him to run regardless. Miles, I mean, the Miles Jack play, I mean, that was like, it was tough. I get that. He hasn't played football in forever. He looked like he didn't have control of his body throughout the game in a few different situations. Yeah. And that one was a little bit like, hey, you saw him going down. And then you still tried to kind of go low and launch, and that one was where he got busted, and that's that's one they're going to call pretty obviously all the time. And that was Inside the Numbers powered by AWS. AWS has a few more bleeps to put in that one, I think. Sorry, that's AWS. Okay. That's okay. Sorry. They, they know what they got into That's here. right. Yo, yo, what up, homies? Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe to Chris Sims on Button. Right now, we got Sunday Pod, right? So you can have it Monday morning. We recap all the action. Wednesday, it's the What the F*** happen podcast we're gonna get deep in the weeds on the key matchups of the week and then thursday i'm picking games with that jerk florio so you know where to find us homies keep watching peace out we'll see you